the decision day. Are you ready for the decision? It's Astro Monday. We are going to be talking about how astrology is going to affect you this week after the full moon, after today, which is the same energy as the full moon. It's going to be a powerful week coming up here. And watch out because in a couple days, things are going to get bumpy in a good way. So uh, if you haven't done it yet, um, tune in. with Techie. Chris has helped me immensely through the years and guided me on a daily basis. Um, it's been seven years I've been using his app and whoa, Hello, what sir. a powerful weekend, my friend. Oh, was it? Was it, was it powerful for you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess spiritual bowel movement. Actually, I'd say no shit to that, but actually, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what it felt like. A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of clarity. I mean, I, I, for the the weekend was eclipse aftermath. I, I didn't really feel like I came back down to earth until this last weekend. Yeah, I was sort of, you know, and and I'm really the whole two week period from the the first eclipse to the solar eclipse. You know, the lunar and the solar. It was really a whole that whole three four week period was a blur. And this weekend, I finally settled into. Um, just orientating myself again and feeling like I was on a different timeline. I mean, I feel like I'm in a different world. It sort of feels like spring here. So I'm outside again, which is great. Um, so I'm also seeing that spring fever happening as well. That's, How about you guys? Good. Yeah, I, I feel the same thing. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, what I feel is, is I felt kind of behind the hangover. I've had all of this, like, for me, it's been in of communication. Everybody, <clears throat> astrology from everybody in my past, including myself, is showing up here. Like, like, like I had, okay, I had 28 degree um, uh, uh, Gemini here for four days. You know okay. That wow. Okay. Okay. And her husband, oh. her husband is a 14 degree Pisces. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> So I had my ex wife and Cynthia in different forms here uh, over over the right. last four days. I had uh, and you I had another Gemini. You and could a, complain and another... to your you could complain to your ex wife's boyfriend about your wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's twisted. I just had to like get that around my head. Okay, yeah. It was so funny because. Because, um, you, you know, you've heard me all the time. I, I've been looking for people with similar astrologies, and I studied them. You know, I've studied with mine, but I certainly have studied other ones as well. And it was such a bizarre feeling to see uh, Cynthia's energy here in a very tall male format. Oh, interesting. And did you? And was he handling it better? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't think this is his Pluto line. Thank you. But it was, it was it was interesting, and then then also at the same time I had I had another Gemini was Doctor Ella, at the and, and her husband, which is an Aries Sagittarius version of me, which is Shane, who who uh, is in our uh, from H two Water Experts is in our group. So I had I had them there working on on pregnancy stuff between couples, but that's all at the same time, and this is like this is that was my weekend, right? Mm. Got you. So it was like an intensive reflection of you. Basically. Yeah. 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 And then the yesterday camp, everyone felt, was there was you. And yeah. yesterday it felt like uh it felt like like I had done some THC or something like that. Jason was saying the same thing. It felt like spacey high. That's how I am today. I've been spacey high. I've been having a hard time focusing. Yeah, I've been spacey high. I had, I had that same spacey high yesterday too. Yeah. It's like a mystic. It's like a mystical. Um, well, here I am doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what? Are, I mean, we went through. Um, we went through uh, twenty six Libra relationships and rebalancing on Saturday. We went through um, twenty five or twenty four, and then twenty five yesterday, which was Pisces floaty. All the things that you know, all the inspirations of things coming in, and then right. today we're at 26, which is very, very decisive. Like I got up this morning and 
I'm making decisions and I'm moving. That's what I felt like. Yeah. And actually, that might be why we're sort of floating. I mean, the eclipse, Aries energy is go, 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 first of all. But Mercury's retrograde, which is like, well, wait, wait, wait. So we've had sort of like these these opposite commandments. And then the eclipse is like, kaboom, kaboom, go, 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 wait, wait, wait. You know, and then this weekend, 24 and 25 is Venus and Neptune. So very dreamy. So again, like sort of like on break, on hold you know, really sort of rested. And then now at 26, it's like, okay, let's get, let's get back to work right. again. Right. So this is really the first, I would say this is the first get to work energy that we've had legit get to work without these other distractions for the whole month. And we're halfway through the month. Um, so it's time to decide, okay, what are we going to do? Okay. So, um, so we're coming up to let, let's talk about this week. Let's, let's, let's start with, let's lead it with that. And then I have some really world questions I want to ask. So what does this week look like? So this week, what you're really doing is you're launching what I call the grand I am. And what that is, is that you're launching a new characterization of yourself and tied to that characterization of yourself is a mission that you're on. So I'm on a mission to find a new house and I'm no longer the, you know, less than I'm now greater than. So there's like a new version of me and there's a mission that I'm launching. And so we're, you're basically launching it. You're committing today. Tomorrow you take the action, Wednesday you hold space, Thursday you're tested, and Friday we slide into Taurus. Right. So it's, okay. it's, it's, it's the wrap up of Aries. And when we get to Taurus on Friday, the first thing that we sort of go through is we have three different um, uh, aspects on that day, but most of the aspects are, okay, you need to give yourself a whole lot more credit now right. because you've grown tr tremendously mm -hmm. and you're still at the same credit rating. So at the end of the week, we sort of like, we, we jump and say, I'm great. And then there's a part of us that goes, am I? And it's like, of course I am. So there's, there's that sort of moment, I think, where you have to affirm that you deserve it. So when we go to Taurus, especially zero degrees, Taurus is really going to be, I want this. I don't want this. <clears throat> I'm going to make this happen. That's Friday. We start zero. But then we launch up on Saturday and Sunday with one and two degrees. What's that going to feel like? Um, that is really the first part of Taurus is really owning what you're worth. So uh, it's a, it's sort of a I deserve it kind of realization. So we're being encouraged by the universe to be the best you've ever been. And with Jupiter and Uranus, like actually coming together this Saturday on the 20th, I mean, that's the real big news that Jupiter and Uranus can join at 21 degrees Taurus. And what that is, is Jupiter's like unlimited three dimensionally. And Uranus is unlimited multidimensionally. So you have sort of like this conjunction of reality and dimensions above reality to unlimited potentials. So basically we have this magical portal that's opening where you could manifest a pink dragon out of your butt if you knew how to do it. Okay, like if you want to pull it off, you can pull it off. Every time you see pink dragon out of my butt i think of i think of squatty potty commercial if you haven't seen it here go check it out on youtube squatty potty okay Pink with the dragon. magical which is the magical poop okay all right I, it must it must be pink so come one degree and two degree taurus it's really like this wow can i really pull this off it's it's your you're searching your soul for whether or not you have it in you because i think somewhere people are going to recognize and i'm not sure where that scale is i'd be curious to see for people in the chat where is it that you're going for something big in your life um, because you know some people are going for big things like you and i are expanding our businesses to global right uh, so we have like little business things some people that i've talked to are just like moving out of their parents house and finally on their own divorced and finally good with it or so so everyone but everyone has this major manifestation and this weekend is okay do, do i do i do i believe i deserve this right and getting your inner right. deserving level to the, to the next level so what about the people that are not really working on themselves not there yet is it gonna would that potentially manifest a lot of undeserving so that they know what they deserve um, yes, I think that that's what happened. So the universe is saying it's time to raise your self-worth. So that comes from two different strategies. One strategy was you've been raising it this whole time and now you're finally giving yourself credit. The other is, oh man, I'm a piece of shit. I need to change. So you, you might realize that you don't value yourself at all. 
and you're at rock bottom. But here's the thing that the, the truth is you could have never done the work up until now. And you can actually sneak in the front of the line and manifest right now if you want yeah. to. Yeah, because that's the energy. And, and between now and the 18th, which is, uh, which is Unite the Light, yours, and the 12th is ours, the, the end caps, this is the most powerful time of the year to take something that you've been working on and put your foot for, first foot forward, right? Yeah. And, and you know, honestly, one of the most powerful times in all of history I, th I see for manifestation. Yeah. Um, I've never seen the world is, I mean, God is completely sponsoring a new world right now. Completely sponsored. Jupiter conjoining Uranus on Saturday is that it right there. God is basically you never saying, okay, you can grow in limited, you can grow in limited level in any direction you want. Go. Whereas, so the, oh, go ahead. Whereas normally there's a lot of restrictions. Like a, the energies are like, shut this down, close this off, you know, take responsibility for that. This is like, the wild west or they lined up on the line and they shot a gun and then went running for ter for territory you know to, to claim their farms like this is a, a huge conscious grab right. of consciousness so so that being said um with this energy coming up right now if i had been working on something or planning something starting something could be a literally declaring you're going to do it and writing something down it doesn't have to be the full production it's literally taking that first brick and laying it somewhere right that's correct so yeah if you're just now laying if you're just now coming up with the you, there'll be a lot of people who get the idea this month right so th there are pe there are people who'll be like oh my god i have this idea and you may not even get to manifesting that idea for like another year or two but you came up with the idea now this is a very fertile time the last time that it was this fertile was the year 2000 right and that was uh, Jupiter and Saturn in Taurus. And if you remember, there was Y2K. So every computer system was being reprogrammed on the planet at the same time in fear of, um, you know, some computer glitch. There was the dot-com boom and bust where we had, you know, Google taking off for the first time, you know, at, at that time. Facebook was not even here yet at the time. It's still MySpace territory. But the point is there was this, there was this positive abundant, like with the dot-com boom, there was this feeling of like, Wow, anything's possible. Yeah, you know? and AOL bought Time Warner magazine. Right, that was the yeah, yeah. That was that was actually huge. And where and look where they ended up. They went nowhere, <laughs> right? Like, and I and I would imagine like Zuck Zuckerberg. He was probably in his dorm room picking his nose, thinking about I should write a program. So like, so there were people at that moment who were just dreaming about what they would create when they come into power, and there were people who were established that were just blowing up in power. Both. Well, he might. Have been being hatched at that time too. You never know, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Model one zero six five two one three, but two one four was still in place. <laughs> They're different operating systems. Yeah, it's so funny. It's possible for sure. So, so, so yeah. Go ahead. Um. Go, oh, no, you go ahead because I'm gonna go. So the only thing I was going to say this week is you're you're going to envision, okay, this is what I'm going for. This is it. I'm going for it. And then uh, Mercury is still retrograde in the teen degrees of Aries. So our mind is going, okay, well then, but how do I? So you're sort of reformatting how you do it this week. You're probably going to change the way you do it. Most likely. Mm -hmm. you're, you, before you were going to like refinance, now you're going to do it this way. So there's, there's a shift in how we're going to go about it. And uh, during the week so stay open so i'm getting uh, how, how and uh retrograde is for mercury is how much longer like until the 25th which is until next a week from thursday is that right yep, a week from thursday so yeah a week from thursday we have another whole week of figuring out so we're having big plans so what i'm saying is for you to know what you want that's good for you not know how the hell to get it that's probably true you probably have no freaking clue how to get it yet. Like you're figuring out what's going to be the way to get there. Things are dropping in, but it's not clear. So be okay with not knowing how at the moment. I, uh, I affectionately labeled it Mercury Metrograde. Yes, that's right. Mercury Metrograde. Mercury is Metrograde. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I've had everything from uh, Instagram. As you know, we had, we had issues. We couldn't get people on. We were getting kicked off. Um, my sound went out almost every day last week 
I'm getting through about a quarter of the way through my my life. Everybody's no sound, no sound, no sound every day. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I just had YouTube keeps like demonetizing videos of mine saying I'm doing because I, it's a political ad. It's really <laughs> weird. And I'm like, I haven't even mentioned any of the candidates. I think it's just a false way of like bringing me. I don't know. I have yeah. no idea what it is. But it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. They, they've been doing some weird stuff. <clears throat> and, uh, um, and we're, we're, we've been, we've been, we've, we've had a few interesting, interesting things. We actually even had, um, like, uh, like our, like our Amex, it's like all of a sudden after behavior, they just said, they shut it, they, they shut it down to lower the limit. And then, then we're like, well, it could be a computer, you know, you, we may have, so we had to talk to them again and get it brought up because we do all of our business on, on that because of everything. And like all these weird things. And the other part too, is I noticed that communications since uh, Mercury has been straight. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I've, I've been, I've stumbled like I am right now. <laughs> like my mouth is having a hard time communicating through the whole thing. Um, I will tell you this on the eclipse because we didn't talk on the eclipse. Um, there was, I was in an, I was in a situation. I was saying that the community, the world is really, anxious to come together i've noticed that because i was in a little event that was for the eclipse and the camaraderie of the community right now is extremely strong yeah i'm finding where people are really wanting to connect to like-minded people and there's such a feeling of ease when it's happening it's interesting have you noticed that in your I, events i have because uh, we've we have lots of connections happening around that we can see it in our organization around the world and i i, I have a sense that that in Taurus, it's going to Taurus is going to provide the the container for that to happen. People are going to manifest connection. <clears throat> I believe so, and I believe it's going to start a chain reaction. I believe that we're forming new communities and new alignments um, finally, and yeah. I believe it's going to turn into probably real life communities. Yeah. So you know, Taurus is going to be incredibly fertile the whole Taurus season, as you were talking about. We have a new moon on May seventh at eighteen degrees, which is a new moon that says "Go for it," which is my energy. My, I'm a step eighteen Taurus, so it's on my birthday. So you're welcome, everyone. <laughs> I'm sharing my birthday with you this year as a new moon, and then we have the Unite the Light on that eighteen. But that week, as the Sun and Jupiter can join at twenty eight, that's a big power manifest. Venus on Uranus the same day twenty one. That's a big power manifest. And the point is, is like that is the container, and then Jupiter goes into Gemini. And what is Jupiter in Gemini? It's a yes. lot of tweet. It's a lot of tweeting. It's a lot of birds tweeting. It's a lot of communication. It's a lot of ideas flying back and forth for a full year. A lot of flurry. Um, a lot of ideas. <clears throat> sort of again, it feels like the dot com boom. The only thing I can compare it to in my modern adult life, it feels like the dot com boom mixed with the rave scene. That's what it feels like. So um. So the 18th is step 29, right? Or 28, no, 28. Step 28, which is a grandmaster degree for, for Taurus. So the sun and Jupiter can join at 28 Taurus, which is the highest manifestation degree of Taurus. Okay, so, 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 so like hold on a second here. So, so I just realized that my event on the 12th will be 21 degrees. Yes. On oh, Uranus. you know what's funny? The sun will Grandmaster Taurus is your event. Grandmaster Sagittarius is my bet. That's true. That's exactly you can't even true. make that stuff up. I know that's true. Oh, actually, we did end up crap. reserving. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so we're we're both in each other's Willy Wonka factories on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna okay. eat a blueberry and turn into a Oompa Loompa. And we have <laughs> and we have stuff happening at the house that uh, it's gonna be a week full of cool stuff. Now. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm super excited high energy. There. Yeah. Yeah, I got people coming in, camera crews, we're going to be shooting a bunch of stuff. So we'll talk about that later, which you and I have to talk about. I tried to get you yesterday. I'm sorry. I know I, I didn't re reach. I didn't find your message till later at night. I'm like, oh, I'm already, he's already probably in bed. Yeah. I just got taken off on a vortex, man. There's, they've been <laughs> happening. Conversations with people or just things that happen. But um, yeah, it's going to be exciting. So I feel like Jupiter and Gemini is going to be the community building. Yeah, and we're, I'm calling this summer the summer of love. Yeah, because I do think I just get this strong. A lot of people meeting and falling in love this summer for some reason. I think because they're meant to be together as we go through this next event, yeah. whatever this event is. And I can't quite figure out. I definitely want to wizard with you about this next event. Like, 
can we just change the timeline and avoid it all I, together? I, look at, I think so. And, and it's July 22nd when it's going to pop off, right? As far as when the event will be? Well, well, that's when the energy shifts to provide the container for the event. Um, could be. You mean you, you mean talking about July? So the early August? Yeah. Right before in the I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. August twenty first. August twenty second. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. August. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yep. yep. So August twenty right. second, and as we go into Virgo, it's I. I yeah, I'm, I want to talk to you because I have the same feeling that I did in two, 2019 when I said I'm out of LA. I'm closing the clinic. Okay. Yeah, something's about to happen. Yeah. It's definitely foul play. Um, I don't, I feel, I've been prepared for it all year. I mean, I, I, you know, things might get stopped down or stopped or I don't know. I, I don't know. What's, all I know is that it's in my I, heart. It's, it's a nothing burger. Yeah, it's a nothing burger for us. Right. But so this is part of it is that we're still watching uh, astrology, our uh, media are getting inputs from Earth too. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the, the challenge that I'm seeing and that with people is that what I'm noticing is that the law of attraction is in action. We're manifesting in real time. So if my thoughts are fear, anger, doubt, still, if I have those hangover thoughts, even if I'm going to this new good place, I'm manifesting this stuff to get it out of me. So I'm manifesting the fear, yeah. the fear. I'm getting things to bring it out of me. So what I, what I, what I feel is, and that manifestation is happening really fast. So people that are, uh, that aren't clear with their self or don't have a community to support, as they go through this, the first part of it is them manifesting all the shit yep. that they got to manifest so that they can move to the better place. But I even think, you know, it's funny you say that because I feel that even those in misery will come together in misery. Yeah. And they'll be communities. For sure. They'll be commiserating communities. Yeah, know, yeah. Like, Birds of a feather like, flock together. I mean, people are going to be all right. They'll get through it. But but there is there is a there's a segment of people like um, – like we're talking, uh, we're we're talking over to Jordan about doing a, a an event there, right? And all of a sudden, it's like I just I just know. I mean, I'm talking to him this week. I just noticed that you know, airspace is closed off. You know, they're saying it's World War Three, and I'm like, but it doesn't even like it's not even in my my thing. I can see it, but it doesn't oh, yeah. affect anybody I'm dealing with, anything I'm doing. Yeah, no, yeah no. it's like I don't hear it from any social circles, anybody. No one cares. I'm in the same, but I'm not on that. I'm not on that's earth two for sure. Versus earth three. So, and I actually asked that today our staff meeting. I'm like, are we at war? I didn't, are we, is there, you know, did it start? Did I ran attack? Like, I don't, I'm like, did we join? I don't even know. Like, what's the story? And everyone's like, I don't know. No one on my team knew. And I was like, I thought the same thing. And so I'm wondering too, do we see, so people are asking what's going to happen. Well, at the end of August, there's some, there's some sort of the empire strikes back. Yeah. That's basically yeah. What it, the empire strikes back. I know what the strike back is. I know we're going to be like, oh, come on. you got to be kidding me. I know that that's going to be our response is you got to be kidding me. Yeah. But, but it's enough of a mess to make a mess out of everything. I can feel that. I kind of feel like at that point, I just sort of like start touring with Human Garage and, and tune out. Yeah. <laughs> or like if I haven't already, like just hanging out with you guys somewhere in the Bahamas or something. Like I think I'm just going to wait it out. That's what I feel like, you know, that's keeping my business, but wait it out, whatever it is. Uh I think that's what it is. I mean, I think the people, it feels like the people that are on our path, that are conscious. And when, when I say on our path, for those of you out here listening, if you're just watching in the wings, but you're not taking action in your life, you're not on the path, you're watching the path. You right. have to be ta taking an action in your life to make yourself better. And, it, and, and from everything I can experience, it happens in here first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and... And whatever in Virgo is not worked out of us, we are going to have it come up and we're going to manifest it to us so yep. that we can get it out of yep. us. Yep. I agree 100%. Which is what I've been doing the last eight years. Like, you know, what I mean? like, <laughs> so don't think like I got out of it. I didn't. I just happened to be just now. I finally had passed through it. And I think that's because I'm here to hold space. I actually feel, I'll tell you, I felt a timeline shift on Friday night during my show. And it felt like, my instruction is just to go build the new world and not even worry about what happens on earth too. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it feels that's, like. That's exactly where I'm at. And I, yeah. and there's a, a strong, I keep getting like, I think we're going to create communities. So you've got one in Mexico, right? Like uh, I we're going to popping up everywhere. Actually. Yeah. And we are we're building a, we're, we're using, we're going to do the performance program, the funds that we raise 
are going to create more content, more, you know, help, help yourself. But we're also looking to get a facility here, like literally buy a resort that's like uh, 80 to 100 units so that we can hang and work with people who are, that, want, that are helping out in the world. 80 to 100 units being like rooms, so we, like we, hotel rooms or? 150 people. Huts, like. It, you know, anything. I, like, I, I, I see it. Tiny I homes. It. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see it. I see it. But I just can't put my head around it. Yeah. Um. On the, on the beach, on the water, we've been looking for for spots, and we we have contributors that want to make this happen as well. So we're going to be coming together. It's going to be a, it's going to be a big purchase at some point. But the idea is is that we have people all around the world helping right now. It's time to bring them together, and then and then use that energy to produce and move and move forward. Mm hmm. Yeah, it feels to me, um, it feels to me there's going to be, it seems like tiny homes. Everyone keeps talking about tiny homes, like tiny home communities, because there's some really cute ones out there these days, which is sort of like the new hotel. Yeah. Um, but I, many compounds across the world, and those compounds somehow united. Yeah. 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 I, I, I feel like we're also, so part of what we're doing is uniting, we're, we're working with people who have communities already. We've been doing this for a while. And what they have, like a lot of these um, places have facilities, but they, they're going to need people. And we have the access to people. Like we have tens of thousands of people that want to go live on, live in facilities, work in retreats, stuff like that. And there, there's also a need to help people transition or rehab from world two. Mm -hmm. Deprogrammed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Deprogrammed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being deprogrammed and rehabilitated. Yeah. And it feels like life, and I kind of, so the vision I'm sort of having is that <clears throat> the earth sort of splits in two. And I kind of feel like part of the population goes off and tries to live this spiritual technology <clears throat> and grow along our spiritual roots. And then another part of the earth, earth might choose a different reality. And I don't feel like they're going to mess with us. I, I, I don't, I, I they're to, not. No, one, no one's worry. messing with me. I, 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 know as, I know as certain as I, when I closed the clinics and got out, I knew that I know no one's messing with us. But you're right about the uh, about you know if you look at what happened during the during the pandemic is what never stopped was construction or refitting downtowns of every city in North America. So they took all the old buildings, converted all the old high rises for work, and converted them into living. They continued in Canada building all these small boxes, 500, 600, 800 square feet apartments. And um, so I, there's a there's a land shift coming that people are people are significantly over the next 18 to 24 months going to lose property. And and the ones that are not there are going to be moving in towards the boxes, the city, because they'll need to. Resources are being they're 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 making resources scarce and hard to get. So they're centralizing people. Yeah, I definitely see that happening. And I see us not, not doing it, <clears throat> you know, yeah. like, you know, and I feel like, like there's, they're going to be so busy trying to do that, 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 uh, the alternative community will be able to thrive and not be, uh, interfered with. There's just, there'll be, there'll be too much. We're too much. I, I we're think not it's, I think it's too much, but I, I, I feel like in the same thing I say to people all the time, I, I say stuff on my channel, on this channel here to, uh, that people get shut down for every day. I, I feel that there's a I, I feel that there's a hedge of protection around those who are who are not in the fight, who are not take, picking black or white, right or wrong. who are going to the third category, and right. I'm in, fully in that. We're fully in the third category. I don't want to fight. I don't care about this whole thing about good or evil. There, there is good and evil for sure. But in World Three, there's just contribution and expansion and growth. And I'm that's where I am. I I'll let the good and evil fight it out in the world too. Exactly. I think that's, I think that whole game is over, you know, yeah. and I, I have felt that inside me. I don't feel, I don't feel any threat anymore. That was all in my head anyways. <laughs> I was, I was playing the role of the villain and the one being attacked. Like I was playing both roles, you know, imagining how I might be held back by the world and then living in fear of being held back by the world, but the world never ever actually holding me back. Yeah. It was just all this mental conscious game inside myself that I really feel like this eclipse was the end of, for me, the end of the struggle. 
to me, the eclipse, the last solar eclipse is the end of the struggle bus. I'm like, okay, I'm no longer struggling. Life is easy. And to some degree, there's like a carnival in my heart because I'm like, oh my God, the good days are here. Um, but of course, I have this image of drinking tea and watching the cities fall. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird paradox going on there. Um, but it feels now that the job is just to build the new world. And that, that and was before was to save the old. So I guess that's what's changed. Yeah. I was like, we've got to save the planet. Now I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah. we're just going to build the new planet. Yeah. There's nothing to save. You just build the new and see if people go move in there or not. So it's interesting. Yeah, we, yeah. we've been on that journey since uh, 2021. Let's just build the new. And that was the transition that we went through then. And, and I, I believe that's also why our media and everything grew worldwide. It's because we were just harnessing the energy that's coming. And, and if, I, if I have any um, uh, sense of what's coming for us and for you and for people who are doing this is, is we were harnessing that energy early. But that's the energy that we're harnessing is the energy that we all have access to. It's not that we're special. We're just, right. We just harnessed it a little bit earlier. Yeah, I agree. And that was, that's what we do. <laughs> Right. Yeah. It's, it's, that's what a visionary does is they see it ahead of time and get started and go through that period where the only uh, chipmunk on the block, you know, b doing insane stuff and, you know, hiding, storing nuts in weird places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it <laughs> reminds me. Yeah. Yeah. So it reminds me of uh, Jordan because he always comes up with these good marketing ideas, right? He, it, no one's ever used it yet. But I'm like, if I had a nut butter company, speaking of nuts, he goes, I can't believe it's nut butter. <laughs> That's great. I'd buy yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I'd buy that too. And like, and uh, um, so, uh, and and by the way, he's he's doing fantastic. Um, oh, that's good. Yeah, he's got his uh, his new girl. They're they're hosting and building Vancouver Market right now, and he's doing his mushrooms all over the place, which which we've been doing because. It is, it is obvious, in, I don't, it's not this bad in the United States, but in Canada, in Canada, the price of groceries is off the chart insane. That's I right. I mean, a, a thing, of, a thing of chicken wings at do? Costco, a thing of chicken wings at Costco is 220 bucks. Wow. I mean, what, what was $100 a year ago is, is almost $200 right now for this groceries. And I'm like, they're, they're, they're working hard. To, and I'm sure that's going to start happening all through the United States too. But, but it's already in Canada. It's already, it's happening here yeah. in places that we're seeing that. I mean, the, the, the food prices are outrageous, 100%. I've been, have, I've been buying organic exclusively forever. So I feel like I've been paying outrageous prices for groceries this whole time. Yeah. Because I was going out of my way to eat healthy and, and that just was so expensive. But I'll tell you, with these alternative communities that are going to be built, yeah. they're going to be all agricultural. Yeah. They're all going to be agricultural. Yeah. It's so funny. And, and the reason why they're agricultural is because uh, modern agriculture forced us back to agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> and but we, but we get to use stuff like electroculture. I don't know if you've seen any of that stuff. It's like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we should. Like the ones that grow tomatoes the size of a VW bug. Like, yeah. Those. <laughs> <laughs> like and cut it. Yeah, I've seen those vegetables. I'm all for it. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like at this point, it's like, what are we even fucking waiting for? We're waiting for Biden to die. Let's just <laughs> go create the world right now that we want and stop waiting for someone else to do it. Yeah. I think that's yeah. I think that's part of it. But I do feel like so I've seen a couple business plans for those who are interested. First of all, I'm serious. I know people who are buying land to build like tiny house communities. And I kind of feel like for me, I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking about retirement already. I'm like, I'm going to buy a plot in one of these communities or something. I'm not going to retire the <clears> traditional <throat> way. But the business plan I keep seeing is agricultural. Yeah, for sure. Running, running the numbers, if the community just farms uh, organically, the, they can eat half the food and sell the other half yeah. and be profitable yeah. and still undercut the market when they sell Yeah. Prices are so, so high, you could be a cheap organic, you could undersell all of your competitors like that and, and be profitable. So we have, um, so like, so we started, Jordan's producing a couple hundred pounds of like lion's mane mushrooms and oyster mushrooms in Vancouver in our place. 
And um, and we we've learned the scaling process. Now we're building the market to distribute it because you can take lion's mane. Like what they're making is they make it harder to get protein, which they already have. That's why they're trying to feed everybody crickets everywhere. Yeah, like, literally. Jesus and Christ. and so you take our lion's mane. It's twenty two grams of protein per hundred grams. Where steak is twenty four grams per hundred grams. People don't oh, know. Wow. That. Yeah, and wow. it lights up your brain and. So what we're doing is we're now creating, we've created the system that with uh, growing sprouts, because sprouts and lion's manes will give you all the proteins and micro micronutrients you need. So we've, we've taken that and we've partnered with and we, <clears throat> we've been working with people that can help you do it at your house. And, and that's a really cool thing because easily you can grow to, for even in your own house, you can grow microgreens and mushrooms. Um, Cynthia's daughter, granddaughter, at, you know, at, at uh, 10 years old is growing microgreens at her house and gonna put in mushrooms. The microgreens, she has so much she can sell them to the restaurants. Wow. And they're in basement at her house. And, and they're buying them like crazy because they don't, they don't have that energy to grow. Right, yeah. And I have a buddy, Eden Grow Systems is my buddy's uh, company, Eden Grow Systems, but he has full on tower growing systems that off your app, Yeah. you basically run an app yeah. off your phone and it's like bing you get like a notification go turn the tomatoes <laughs> go turn the tomatoes so you just like go there and turn the tomatoes or whatever but it even creates his systems even create wind because you your plants don't go strong unless there's wind i don't know if you know that yeah, yeah. so you have to turn on wind machines in there every now and then and yeah. he, he's testing them with like uh you know he's trying to sell like marijuana grow markets like in colorado and stuff like that but I think that's the thing, man, with technology and robotics, like semi robotics, we should be able to be growing all of our own food completely because I'm at a point now where I don't even trust organic labels. I yeah, trust so organic that's, labels. Why, that's why we teach people though to feel it in their body. There's sway testing and stuff like that. Organic is just just the door opener so that I can have the conversation. But, you know, like even when we get down here in Mexico, everything's tested in our facility. But there's virtually no organic, you know, like all the fruits and vegetables. We just know where, what farms to get it from. Right. You got to know the flurry of the families. Yeah. Like, and, and what their practices are or whatever. So I feel like as far as our alternative community direction is concerned, it's time for us to start thinking these terms and it's time to figure out how to make robots grow all the food for us. So we can just sit back and harvest. Yeah. You know we're, I mean? like, we're there. We're, yeah. I mean, we're, we're legitimately there. We've got all the systems. They're like, I don't know if you've seen the robots, they're like picking up apples and folding shirts and stuff like that. I've seen it's that. Like, yeah. And, you know, but here, here's something that I, I, I tell people all the time. Everything that is ever produced in this world came from this world. So the raw ingredients are free. Right. Yeah. So the only thing that it costs, the only reason why it costs money is because you have to pay a human to do it. And the, and the value of that money is based on the life of the human. So if the human dies earlier, population dies earlier, the value of things go up. That's what's been happening to us recently. So we've had this, this, this value increase over the last 40 years. Why? Because people have been dying sooner. So right. lifetime value. Right. I mean, this is architecture at a level that most people don't even think of. So yeah. now, with, now with AI and robotics, um, it's, it, you can do all of the things, all the tasks that you used to pay somebody to do, you can do with a robot, which you have a capital cost, but you don't have an ongoing cost. And that is happening right now today. Like people are going to own them in their homes in this, in this coming year and next year. And then, and then as they start implementing it in, it drives the price of products down to eventually virtually zero because yours can can make whatever you need it to make it can grow it can make it can build it can do all that and go cut wood if it has to <clears throat> so and then it takes a while for us to transition but people are like trying to transition their money systems like i'm going to go off of currency the dollar it's a crypto it's all this and i'm like you don't get it we're not going to value the money anymore because everything is going to be zero cost at some point here are very very close to it so people lose the value of the money that's what it is we're changing people are like what currency and i'm like that's the wrong question it's like what do we value and and in the next five to ten years five years for sure we are going we're not going to value money as an exchange mechanism and here's the other thing the, the gdp of the world is 160 trillion dollars but 
the real GDP of the world is almost five times that because we only measure $160 trillion. Most of the world trades and most of the countries trade. Even in our country, we do a lot of stuff for each other and, and there's, no, there's no measurable contribution. There's no trade. I grow something, I give it to you. You do something, you give it to me. We make vegetables, fruit, we do that. I help you with your computer, you help me. Those are commerce items, but we don't measure those. And, and those are growing contributions and, and bartering is growing. And what's going down is the trade as we have cheaper value and we need less, the amount that we trade that's registered, in other words, that we pay taxes on to a government is going like this fast. Yeah. Mm, that's interesting. And all that you just spoke to, I think, is Jupiter and Uranus and Taurus right now. In fact, I mean, you just really sort of explained in practical market terms what that conjunction this with this coming Saturday means. Yeah. This explosive, this reinvention of what value is, because that's what Taurus yeah. is. Taurus is what is value. Yeah. And and from a from a spiritual perspective, value is time and energy. Yeah. So if you if you anytime you put in time and energy, you have something valuable. <laughs> Yes. Um, so I, I agree. I think we're going to be reorganizing what our value is. You know, a lot of the mystics who channel the ETs, the extra dimensionals, um, say that currency is gone in about 35 years, is what they're saying. Yeah, you know, I, I think, cash I think yeah, currency as a whole, but between here and there, we have the first big dump, which is the current currency is fear, obligation, debt, because currency is based truly on human life, and human life has a has a has an end factor and as we as people die sooner the value goes up so it's debt and it's also currencies based on something that that you and i don't have somebody has or has to get whether it's a gold or whether it's a fiat dollar or whether it's a crypto system or whatever but the true currency i learned this when i was in prison is that the true currency is the ability to help somebody else and the most powerful one is to help somebody in their life be better or out of pain because people will pay, they, they will pay, I have billionaires as clients, lots of them, who would literally, after 10 years of chronic pain, would give up every dollar that they ever had to get rid of that pain. And, yeah. and, and so that money has no value when I don't feel good in here. And so, right. the, so what we're doing is we're, we're now like, we trade a lot of people, a lot of people help us out and 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 we trade and they're they're helping us out and we help them out and we do that through but we put ours first we put our media our programs our content first now people are coming in and say can i volunteer can i help because they feel so good in their life they eat less they use less drugs they use less medication they have better relationships it costs them less they get more out of their life they perform better so now they're giving back to us and the whole and all we had to do is put our foot first and say we're not expecting any money to come back from any of our programs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want you to talk on a panel about your economics, actually. This is something yeah. I talked to you about. Feel good currency, man. That's what we're doing. Yeah, that's it's right. okay. So the currency changes when, when I have the ability to produce the currency is the feeling of good in me, and then I can automatically help you. So what we're doing is a feel good currency. We are going to blockchain that and coin that for whatever length of time that currency is left. Because if you take care of yourself, if you transform, if you help your health, by default, you're going to help other people. So I can measure that. And then when you want to come stay in a facility, I can measure that or how much you help other people. Or if you post a video or you share or you do a class online with AI, I can measure that stuff. Like we're at, we're at the point where we're 70 percent there to measure it in public. And when we can measure it, we can say instead of paying to come down here to Mexico and stay with us, just do all these things that help people and we'll measure that because we would have had to pay somebody to do that. We would have had to pay media to do that. We would have had to pay somebody to go do a class and all that, but you did it already. So you afforded the mission. So instead of using money to do that, we're using people. Yeah, I, mean, I think it takes massive software. Yeah, it's a micro level of first. Yeah, like it's that where AI is going to be there. Like, like I was saying, one of the things that we're doing is we, we're we running, I'm not going to say it the way I said it before as a joke, but we're running the largest uh, human trial in the history of mankind that I know of. 
because we have we have we have millions of people that are doing this now and they're starting to report how they feel when they do this and what happens and if they got a rash they're reporting it and they're doing before and after photos they're they're saying how it affected their families and all that all that data that we have people posting mm -hmm. now and we're only we're only a year and a half, two years away from having artificial intelligence to go collect that data. Now we have the we because when you get go to a clinical study, what they do is they literally get somebody to call you. Hey, did you take it? What happened? How do you feel? And they just do that. Well, now we've already got the people reporting, and it's better data than you'd ever get in a clinical study because it's it's three hundred and sixty. Now all we have to do is collect it. We're going to have millions and millions and millions of data points that we're going to be collecting, and that's our science. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. And currency is the energy flowing currency. Yeah. And you, the you never want to put it in a bank because the bank is what stops it. Right. Because no longer. Yeah. Yeah. Currency. You break the current. And that yeah. and that's why you have a currency is to control the energetic flows of the people. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's what it is. And then tax that currency. Yeah. So absolutely taking out of. So everything is built to take out of the currency, not put into the currency. That's the other thing too. Our current system of currency. <laughs> Our current system of currency. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a funny world because you know I, I was talking to this. Um, we we're converting. We're we're like we have basics in like fourteen, fifteen languages, and we're about to go to like fifty or sixty languages using AI. We were we were we had a we had an interpreter and a linguist come here this weekend. And they were uh, working on the AI interpretations and the tools we need to, to convert it all, right? And then what I was saying to her was, was words are either limit us or liberate us. And, and when you put a rope around an elephant's trunk and you stand it there, it, that elephant thinks that it can't move. And when it's an adult, it thinks it can't move. The rope around us is how we describe our world, what we think. And we, and we even use words like re religion, religion, to bring it back in the army, weak day, because I'm weak at the end of each day. We use words that actually have meaning, which control our narrative, which control the way that our whole human biology works. Yeah. Yeah, our energy and our frequency. That's a spell. Words are spelled because it's a spell. Yeah. We're constantly yeah, spelled. putting ourselves. Yeah, it's spelled. Yeah, we're definitely we're putting our own conscious under certain spells. And that's what I, that was my biggest awakening probably with the eclipse was just like, just the real, I've always known theoretically, but I'm really starting to see the management of my consciousness in the moment, creating the, the life that I want. Like, yeah, yeah, really, yeah, you're, you're, you're witnessing it. You're witnessing yourself, right? Yes. And I'm, yeah, that's and, the third, we're, that's we're the normally, third, earth. That's third yeah. earth. That's, that means that I'm the, I am. I, capital I, which is limitation, because uh, uh, you got three beams of light, ding, ding, and ding, to make the third dimension so we can see. When we cap one, that's an I, that means I. And mm. a little I is a guy with a head on top. Mm. But mm. the real I, as we talked about, is E-Y-E. -E. Yeah. And uh, that I, is e -E. I exist out here. When I observe myself, I'm in consciousness. And, and trauma and dysfunction and patterns are broken and trauma and dysfunction goes away. But when I'm an I, me, I, I live in the trauma and never get rid of it. Yes. Yeah, you observe it instead of becoming it. Yeah. I, I, I witness. <laughs> right? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. So, and that's what I'm feeling. And I'm for the first time, I'm catching myself in the moment where I would normally sign up for struggle and instead decide vacation yeah so, so like yeah I'm, so and this i would say i'm about like maybe four or five days into that meality has been the shift i'm having so i'm excited i feel like the rest of my life is vacation <laughs> and it, it really is really is i mean and it, in a good way in the and the other part too is people like we had this discussion all the time work-life balance and i'm like there's no such thing as work-life balance. If I have to work to have a life, that's the imbalance. If I'm doing exactly what I love and those are combined, which you are and I am, then it's not a work-life balance. We're just doing, we're just living. 
and my living is expressing and helping and seeing and exploring. And the more I explore, the more I see, the more places I go and the more people I help, the more I can give. Right. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I, someone says, you know, I work too hard. I'm like, it's ambition. It's, it's, I love it. Like it's, I love it. Like it's, there's nothing wrong with it. I can't get enough of it. If you gave me time off and say, what do you want to do your time off? It'd be this. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you know, I'm, uh, so, uh, it's funny because on the weekends I, I usually want to go live because, because I, because I, I really enjoy being with people. Now I'm also going Monday, Wednesday, Friday, starting this week. So we get ready for the, the performance program, stuff like that. And then eventually down to one day a week. Um, and, and I, and of course, as I'm doing that, the live volume keeps going, like it's getting bigger and bigger, but that, because I, I not, that's why I know it's time to go up. And by the way, your Astro Mechanics is the number one viewed program on our channel. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. That makes me, my, that makes my heart sing. Yay. <laughs> that's great. Well then cool. We're, we're doing some good talking. We're having good times. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm meeting the community and getting to know everyone. And, and also the people I end up picking, picking end up being cosmic too. It's really cool. So yeah. Isn't it, isn't it bizarre? Like when you, when you're, when you're live in real time and you're not controlling it, like a casting call, and you just see right. who comes up. It, yeah. It's like you're doing your readings, but you're doing them live and you got real feedback all the time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I'm picking on people that had just talked to you or, yeah, it's great. We're having a great time on Thursdays. It's great. And actually, that's another question I have to ask for you is like, are we doing it this Thursday? Or are we doing a 29 meeting? We got to talk. So do you have time yeah. later to talk to connect today? Yeah, yeah. I have time to connect today. Yeah, I, um, uh, I'll text you right after, but I definitely have time. Okay. I want to talk because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. We're getting ready for for Austin, um, both of us. Yep. Um, and we've got we've got some. I'm bringing in some. Uh, I'm bringing in some outside media to do that, and uh, also I got some PR that's happening. So I want to want to see if I can involve you in some of that. That sounds great. Yeah, and I want to talk to you about what you're going to talk about at our thing and. Talk about having you on a panel and um you know what's going to be like at the human garage house so yeah it'll yeah. be good yeah i think you'll get a chance to shadow us i think gary's going to turn us into reality tv shows what it sounds like <laughs> <laughs> yeah we that's the start of our camera crew that travels with us for one year every day that's amazing yeah that's two producers life. three shooters and two media editors uh back and forth and stuff like that so so it, it's like it's like all of a sudden the number of people that we have to move around it changes everything. It's like we can't just get up and go now because I was they, they were asking to bring us over to uh, to uh, Portugal and I'm like okay absolutely I'm okay with it but recognize this is how many people come this is how many people have to fly this is how many people have to stay that number to show up at an event right now is like just to, just to have us there is like seventy thousand dollars. Wow and. Yeah, because you have because you have people. So I so I'm like so I'm like yeah, we have to charge for an event. <laughs> you have no other way to do it. Yeah. Well, and I think it's and it's time. And besides, it's energy exchange. So, you know, it's not a bad thing. Hey, somebody asked something here, and it seems like an astrological question, or maybe it's not. What is the fix for foamy urine? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. What's the fix for foamy urine? That's funny. Astrologically, I'm not sure. I think you've got a problem with Uranus there. <laughs> you just opened that foamy door for me. Yeah, that's funny. So funny. Um, so, so for this week, I think it really, it really feels like, like, hang on, get ready, and everything's gonna work out. Yeah, and uh, yes, it's well, aim. It's time to be who you came here to be. So you're going to regret if you don't step up now. So whatever you've come to be, take those first steps. It's okay if you can only take two steps, but um, commit to how who you want to be and, and how you're going to get there and get get moving on it already. This is, a, this is a moment to change your life. And when you change your life, you're going to change the people around you. So take, you know, put your oxygen mask on first before you help someone else. Good point. You know, is it? And, with the Earth in in Libra, um, it means we're making new connections and new community, and and I really feel. I mean, this is what I was getting at. I really feel that you know the 
This is the same energy as the original forefathers of the United States. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the energy that they created the United States and we hold these truths to be self-evident. You know, it was the same energy where you and I are talking about communities and clean food and living by certain virtues. And we are this, I realize that, oh, this is the new United States of awareness. It's the United States of awareness that oh. is now happening. And this new community is the United States of awareness. And, oh, we may not even fix the United States. We might just create this United States of awareness. That, um, that's interesting. And, that's yeah. interesting. And, and that makes, you know, you, you're George, I'm Tom, you know, like, I'm not sure. Like, but I feel like the people who are coming to your events, my events, we are the foremothers and forefathers of this new United States. I feel yeah. like we're birthing a new world. We really are. Earth three, however you want to look at it. And I think when you look back in the way, in the way future and look back, um, the decisions that people are making now is the birth of the new enlightenment. This is the very, very, the beginning pilgrimage of earth can be enlightened. I think I'm going to use that. I think, I think I'm going to start inviting everybody to the United States of awareness, the new country. Do. It's Absolutely. virtual. And actually it's, it's, it's a subtitle of my book. <laughs> <laughs> so, <just so> you <laughs> know. so promote my book as much as you want, <laughs> but, but and I'm happy with that. Like, cause that's the whole point. Cause to me, the step systems give you the, the formula for the United States of awareness inside of you to unite your States of awareness. So, but yeah. So, so, um, before we go here, the people who want to know more about the step system, what's the best way? Cause that step system has changed my life. I use it inside and outside. I use it in the body. I use it anywhere. So how do they, what's the best way for them to, to learn this? If people want to learn just for free right now on my YouTube channel, Serious Story TV, on YouTube, Serious Story TV, there is a playlist that are the, the, all the steps explained in 12 video audios. So if you want to practice and learn about where your step is and how you're stepping into your own formula, Serious Joy, my, our spiritual service is the best way to do that because we're speaking on the steps all the time. And I am off to write my book this year, buddy. After after we do this event together, I'm going to actually go off for a few weeks and just write like a monkey. A yeah. Typewriter. yeah, it's funny because it's funny uh, we're both doing it at the same time. Who would have ever guessed that? I know. Well, that's perfect. Yeah, isn't that? That's how it's going. So we should talk about that too. Yeah, maybe book tour. It'd be fun to book tour or something. That'd be fun. That yeah, will be fun. Well, this is Chris. As always, it's uh, really great. Um, we'll talk. I'll talk to you offline later today. Okay. And um, and everybody coming up, Astro Mechanics, where you can have your questions answered and get some real life advice. It is happening coming up this Thursday. Uh, this Thursday, Our I'll be on there and. And come to our event. See us in Austin. I'll either see you at Gary's event or my event. So my event is unitethelight.love. Unitethelight.love. At least register there if nothing else. Yeah. Take care. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you, too.